field for the first Hamiltonian Oaks elimination. Lining up, a girl named Sugar was pacing. She's now back trotting, but trying to catch the gate about five lengths back as they head toward the start. Top five make the final. And they're off. Decent start for everybody. And first away is Arbro Vanquish from that inside post. No pan, no gain floats out of there. Looks like she'll drop into the two hole. Judge Judy is an unhurried third. Arianda Harris floats out also. She's fourth toward the outside. Then it's Spellbound Hanover in fifth. Fiery Chip, a length and a half from her. Big Sky Queen, seventh of the pylons. A girl named Sugar is racing an eighth. And at the back of the pack is Noble Message, who trails early. And Arbro Vanquish now leads it by two lengths. Opening quarter in a comfortable. 28 and wide. Arianda Harris starts to work her way toward the lead for Dubay on the outside. Arianda Harris is now second, just off the leader's wheel and challenging for the front. No pan, no gain. Tracks that pair from third. Then it's Judge Judy, a length and a half further back, fourth. Spellbound Hanover on the inside fifth as Arianda Harris has now taken command. And Spellbound Hanover begins to edge out. Fiery Chip was waiting for that cover as Campbell kicks out the plugs on her. Big Sky Queen moving up seventh on the inside. The half was in 55. Five and three. Eighth is a girl named Sugar, and Noble Message is gap back and trails the field as they head on to the far turn with Ariane De Harris now two lengths in front. Arbro Vanquish is second, no pan, no gain, tips to the outside first over. Spellbound Hanover now drafting behind her cover second over. Judge Judy is gapped slightly on the inside fifth. Fiery Chip is third over. She's about seven lengths from the lead as they hit the three quarters in one, 24 and three. And it's Ariane De Harris at the top of the stretch. Who's the one to catch here? Fiery Chip from the back of the pack is tipped out four wide and spellbound in over three wide and also rallying. Armbro Vanquish needs some racing room. Arianda Harris is digging in. Fiery Chip is charging hard for Campbell on the outside and it's Fiery Chip who swept past everyone to take the lead. Arianda Harris is second. They're coming to the line. Fiery Chip, a sharp winner here from Arianda Harris. No pan, no gain. Big Sky Queen was fourth, tight for fifth between Arbro Vanquish and Spellbound Hanover, 1, 53 and 4. Three-year-old Pine Chip filly out of Castleton Blaze by Speedy Crown, all by the partnership of Stewart, Robbins II, Dewar, and Richard Stansley of Kentucky and Ohio, trained by Bob Stewart and John Campbell, is in the sulky. Fiery Chip getting her first win of the season. It comes in a Hamiltonian Oaks elimination, cruising to a career best here of 153 and 4, and the results are now official. Second race brought to you by Jaguar, the art of performance. We welcome Dan Benson of Mach 2 Management, Joe DeVita from Madison Jaguar, also trackside in the winner's circle, along with Ryan Ambriefi, the sales and marketing manager for the northern region of Jaguar Cars. Also from the Hamiltonian Society, one of its directors, Mr. Alan Levitt, along with his wife Meg, who operate Walnut Hall Limited the home of 94 Hamiltonian winner, Victory Dream. Results official, number six, Fiery Chip, pays 1040, 580, four even. Finishing second, number five, Ariane De Harris, 440, 340, and third the two, no pan, no gain, 360. The early double, eight and six, pays 8680. The exact is 65, returns 3720, 652 try, 19720. Is in and Fiery Chip has won here at 153 and 4. John Campbell, the driver. John, you drove her last week. Was that for the first time? Uh, yes, actually, I uh, tried to race her last year and uh, she had a, a broken bone and uh, we had a scratch her in the post parade. And uh, they thought of her last year's a, two a lot of her last year as a two year old and she's come back very good this year. Last week's effort was certainly an encouraging one. I'm sure that uh, had something to do with her going in here. Yeah, definitely. Uh, she improved a lot uh, her first start uh, here at the Meadowlands, and uh, she improved off last week. She was even stronger today, so uh, she's heading in the right direction. I think she's got a, a real good future ahead of her. They went a pretty good half here. How much did that help her? Well, she's uh, a closer. Um, that's the way uh, Bobby Stewart had said to race her, and uh, you know I think that's going to be her best race. So you know when the fractions are, are good like that, it, it sets up well for everyone coming from the back. Okay, John Campbell, winning driver with Fiery Chip, the first Hamiltonian Oaks elimination winner here, getting ready for Cyrinx and the third race.